Hello Capricorn, welcome in. This is Victoria at Radiant Moon Tarot and we're here doing your weekly reading for June 7th through 13, 2021. If you're new to my channel, welcome in and if you're returning, welcome back and I'm truly grateful for all of your wonderful energy. So just a reminder, this is a general and intuitive reading, not a one-on-one, -on -one, so not all the messages that come out will be for all of you. Just take the parts of the reading that apply to your situation and leave the rest behind. So we've got an exciting week. We've got some great energy coming up with the solar eclipse on the 10th of June. And that, of course, coincides with the new moon in Gemini. So perfect time to set your intentions, uh, make some resolutions, some positive change. And this falls in your sixth house. So this really does have to do with your health and making personal um, personal goals, setting some goals, making some positive change, perhaps a little bit of a lifestyle change. Um, you know, perhaps, uh, in, you know, embracing some more positive uh, kind of behaviors for some there. And uh, so let's see where we go here. But great time to get started on new things when we've got the new moon energy. So, and of course, infused with some extra energy with the sun. So let's see what we've got here for you. We have the moose. So some wisdom. And I don't know if you've ever managed to see a moose out in the wild. Those things are freaking awesome. All right. Ooh, and no, not all those. Thank you. That got caught on my fingernail. So let's just pull your next card and then we'll go into that a little bit deeper. So messages, please, for Capricorn. Thank you. And we also have the magical shapeshifter there. All right. So loving this energy. First and foremost, we have the majestic moose, Mr. Moose. Uh, so the words on the card are, let your head and mind reach to the stars, yet keep your feet grounded on the earth. Listen to the ancient wisdom in your soul. The ancestors speak through you. You know much. All right, now, moose are absolutely wonderful creatures. They're practically indestructible, all right? And it, it's, you know, they almost defy wisdom, right? Or And, you know, they almost defy logic, really. It's little spindly legs, right? But ultimately, they are, you know, really um, part of nature, part of the forest. And what the message here is, is that you have the ability to persevere and to power through everything okay anything that stands in your way and let me tell you from experience um, if there is a fence or something that is blocking the moose they just walk through it they don't walk over it they don't go around it they just plow right on through okay so you have the ability to really just blast any obstacles that are standing in your way that are preventing you from achieving your goals and your dreams okay um so you know no no matter what right so believe in yourself in that you're big strong and powerful Okay, really beautiful energy. Um, you know, also you are very wise. Okay, so uh, tap into your intuition because I feel it's really on point for you in the month ahead. And um, it's going to be very important. You may pay attention to signs, symbols, and synchronicities that may cross your path. All right, and uh, really listen to your intuition. Really listen to those messages and be open and be receptive um, to messages that come your way or to opportunities that present themselves to you. Um, because again, you have the you have the ability and the power to overcome obstacles and persevere to achieve your goals. So if there is an opportunity that presents itself to you, don't hesitate. Listen to your intuition follow your heart, and then don't hesitate to move forward, all right? Um, because there's, uh, you know, there's always opportunity for improvement on the horizon there. And when we have the magical shapeshifter, so when we get this particular card, this is, um, how do I want to say, this is spirit letting you know to pay very, very close attention to people that come into your life this week. This could be people that you know already. It could be new people. It could be people you meet, whether in person, on the internet. Um, if it's through a job, you might meet new people that come into your workplace. Um, because, you know, when we pay attention, there may be somebody that comes in that causes you to pause and reflect and gain a different perspective on the task at hand, on your situation in life, even of something that you may have overcome in the past or something that you may have done in the past, right? There's a little bit of a shift in the energy, right? And and anyone that comes into your life this week may have a positive influence 
and help you see a different aspect of your situation or a different aspect of yourself. And it's for the better though. So if there's an obstacle or a challenge that you're dealing with, you just might meet somebody or you might be just be talking to somebody in a casual conversation and you might just be like, you know, blowing off some steam or just, you know, having a water cooler chat with this person and they just might end up saying something so profound that it just might cause you to stop in your tracks or it might be something that just sticks with you until later on and you know, you may be sitting at home later on or driving home in the car and, you know, their words just may resonate with you in some way and you just might not be able to get their, their words out of your head and it just, it just may be something that um, causes you to reflect or uh, to think about something a little different. So shifts your reality just a little bit. So really pay attention um, to, uh, to people in your life this week, okay, because uh, there's some really interesting energy that comes associated with this card, right? It does come with a little bit of magic. Okay, so um, really quite very interesting. So yeah, just pay attention. So let's pull your tarot and let's see what else we've got for you. Messages for Capricorn. Thank you very much. So current situation, heart of the matter. Oh yeah, okay. We've got the Ace of Wands. Now it's in reverse. Okay, um, right at the center. So the Ace of Wands is in reverse. The Aces are always lucky cards and always good positive energy, even if they are uh, flipped upside down, right? So um, it's just a little bit more of a challenge though. So let's see what's crossing you. Six of Cups. There you go. What did we say? Something from the past. There could even be someone from the past coming back in because quite often that Six of Cups is a return energy, but it's also one of nostalgia as well. Uh, beneath you, moving you forward, the Nine of Wands. Mm -hmm. Advice from Spirit, we've got the Hermit. Crowning you, we have the Knight of Coins in reverse. And we have the Emperor as your outcome energy. So, current situation, heart of the matter. It feels as though you may be trying to get your thoughts in order, okay? You may have some sort of dream, some sort of inspiration. Um, that you've been trying to tap into. Uh, typically, the Ace of Wands that's in the upright, this is about taking action, right? This is a gift, an opportunity that's presented itself to you and allows you to move forward. But when we have it in the reverse, it feels, especially with the Six of, uh, six of Cups that's crossing you, it feels as though you may have the spark of something, you may have the inclination of something, uh, you may have something that's just maybe feels like a little bit out of reach, a little bit out of your grasp right now. And it's like, almost like it, it's like a little bit on your periphery. And it just kind of feels like there could be an idea that you had started to get off the ground or that you had started to think about. And then it may have run out of steam, it may have lost a little bit of energy. Um, you know, or something may have fizzled out. Now this could have to do possibly with the pandemic. You could have been ready to start a new business, start a new job, because we do have the Knight of Coins in reverse there. Um, and with both of these being, being in reverse, it looks like there was something that was kind of like a flame that was a little bit extinguished, like some energy that kind of fizzled out. An opportunity may have started really great and then ground to a halt. Um, it may not have been within your control. It could also be, um, you know, sometimes we get both ends of the spectrum with this Ace of Wands in reverse, right? Either there's uh, an idea, there's a passion, there's something there, there's uh, an opportunity, um, but it's run out of steam, run out of energy, or on the opposite end of the spectrum, okay, on the opposite end of the spectrum, there could be something new, but there's an energy of overexcitement, overenthusiasm, the energy of charging ahead without doing your homework, right? Normally that, that knight of coins that's up there does all homework, okay, stays committed, stays true, um, you know, doesn't leave any stone unturned, reads all the fine print, all of that kind of stuff, things to ensure success. So there could be a situation that um, you were in or you where you are in 
okay, where there's over enthusiasm, too much energy, and that too much energy is causing something to be overlooked, right? Charging ahead full steam without thinking of the ramifications, without um, devising a plan, a strategy. Now, it doesn't mean that it won't still be successful, okay, but there may be a need to put the brakes on something a little bit if that is your situation, right? Just take a little bit of a step back. We do have the emperor energy coming out here, thank goodness, okay? Something to kind of slow down the horses a little bit, all right? Um, but for others, I feel as though there may have been something that you were pursuing, something that, um, you know, may have been brand new or you were wanting to break free of something that has kind of gotten you really down in the dumps a little bit. So you could have a job situation um, that, uh, you know, is really leaving you energetically drained. There's no more passion there. You'd really just don't like it. You don't want to get up in the morning and you may be thinking about something new and you might be having a little bit trouble getting it off the ground. You may be um, faced with a lot of dead ends along the way. Okay. And and the thing is, when we have this, this Ace of Wands, there is still opportunity that's around you. It just might need a different approach. It just might need a different strategy. The Aces are always good, whether they are, you know, upright or upside down. It's just upside down represents just a little bit more of a challenge, all right? And whether it's not enough energy or too much, whether it's not enough opportunity or too many opportunities, all right? Um, you know, there's one extreme or the other rather than um, just being very much straightforward, okay? So there's some sort of strategy that may be uh, needed in your situation here, and I'm feeling it very much may have to do with your money, all right? Um, what's crossing you though, we have the Six of Cups. The Six of Cups is an energy of nostalgia, of thinking back to the past, of, you know, recollecting the easier days when life was simpler, right? And that could be related to the pandemic because there's a lot of people who have been really, really negatively impacted by that. They've lost their jobs. Um, the Ace of Wands can sometimes be, uh, the Ace of Wands with the Knight of Coins can be uh, entrepreneurial energy a little bit. Okay, so you may have been right on the cusp of opening your own business or setting out on your own and then, boof, defeated, right? So there may be this energy here of holding on to a dream, holding on to something um, a little bit too tightly and that's preventing you from moving forward with something different. It may be preventing you from moving forward with a different plan, a different strategy, holding on to something because it felt good, right? It felt good at the time, but it might not be good for you now. Um, there may also be that you may just be stuck in a little bit of this, this energy. And normally I really quite do like the Six of Cups, right? Because it is one of re reflecting on the past, but it's one of being in the present, reflecting on the past, and then looking at looking to the future. And it's kind of like, for me, a little bit of a dreamy, uh, a dreamy sort of energy. And, you know, quite often when I get this, there may be a dream from long ago or a dream from the past, it doesn't have to be from childhood, that you uh, are thinking of resurrecting or that you need to let go of because it may or may not be good for you for the future. And sometimes our dreams get squashed when we're younger, um, you know, especially if someone has told us that we can't do something, right? And, but there may be a need to revive something. So again, kind of, kind of like a little bit of a two-way energy, just like with that Ace of Wands, with this six, with the Six of Cups, it could be the need to release something from the past, an ideal, a dream, um, you know, a goal even that might just not work out uh, in our current circumstances, right? Different strategy may need to be involved. Um, so there may be something that needs to let go, but at the same token, there may be something that needs to be revived that may have an opportunity to be revived, all right? Now, the Six of Cups is also, um, you know, of a as an energy of a return. And so there may actually be uh, somebody who you know from either your, um, you know, your personal life or your working life uh, that may come back 
um, that may come back to see you. They may reach out to you. Again, we do have that magical shapeshifter. So pay attention to people uh, that are around you this week, right? So it could be someone that you used to work with that maybe sparks some inspiration that kind of shifts your way of thinking, shifts your direction. Um, it could be somebody that you used to know, an old friend, maybe someone reaches out on, on social media or something like that, okay? Or, you know, you may actually also have some memories of a person from the past, a little bit of a, how do you want to say, uh, a little bit of a voice in the back of your mind, somebody that may have convinced you that you couldn't follow your dreams. So there's a couple of, again, a couple of different energies coming there. So just pay very close attention to people that you either meet in person or that pop into your mind because there's messages there. There's some information there that will help you get back on track, help you embrace um, you know, what moves you, what's, um, you know, what lights that fire in your belly and that what moves, um, um, gives you the energy to move forward. Okay. So just pay really close attention to that. But beneath you, we've got the knight of the nine of wands. This is wounded warrior energy, right? You've been through one hell of a battle, been through some ups and downs. It's, um, you know, it's not an energy of giving up. All right. But it is one of taking a little bit of a time out, a bit of a pause, um, you know, um, persevering and overcoming obstacles, but kind of you're a little bit world weary. Um, you know, you may be looking out onto the horizon, onto the future and looking at your opportunities and you just might have a little bit of hesitation with that. It's like, okay, what is the world going to throw at me next? Where next? What is my next obstacle? What is my next challenge? I can do it, but I'd really prefer something to be easier. All right, but on your path to your goals and your achievements, sometimes we do have those ups and downs, right? But no matter what, you are not giving up. You are continuing to move forward. You might just be taking a little bit of a breather, right? Your energy is a little bit depleted um, in these, right? So, you know, you may need to abandon something, but it feels more as though you're going to get back up. You're going to get your breather. You're going to get your energy back a little bit, and then you're going to get right back on that horse, right back on that wagon, and you're going to continue to move forward to achieve your dreams and your goals, okay? You just might have a little bit of, um, uh, when we get this, this is a little bit of, um, how do we want to say, a little bit of skepticism, a little bit of caution. That's what it is. A little bit of cautionary energy, right? It's like, I'm going to keep moving forward, but I'm just going to like step lightly a little bit. And you know, a, a caution energy, if, if you, if you're in the situation where you are full speed, wearing to go full speed ahead, but you're not um, paying attention to all the finer details, then a little bit of a cautionary energy um, may not be such a bad thing. Okay, because that might just slow you down a little bit, right? If you are going to that other extreme, okay? But I feel for a lot of you, you're just kind of taking a little bit of a time out, getting your energy back before you go on the next stage, okay? Before you move forward. Advice from spirit. Listen to your intuition. Go within. Um, the answers that you seek are all within you. The hermit is Virgo energy. And this is one of... Um, uh, going within and listening to your wisdom, your guiding light, all of the tools that you need are within you. We do have two nines out here for you now. So number 99, you might want to look up the deeper meanings of 99. Okay. But nine, this is a solitary energy with the hermit. Okay. So part of your answer, part of your solution lies within you. Okay. And understanding where you're going, where you want to go, what do you want to do? This is part of your soul's path, your soul's journey. And what is your purpose? And spirit wants you to remind yourself of why you're doing something. This is the big why card, right? Why am I doing this? Why am I here? Why am I, you know, going forward? Why do I want to make a change, right? So really think about your intentions and think about where you see yourself going, right? This is that big, big life uh, life questions um, card, right? And those answers lie within you. Spirit is also trying to guide you. We do have this light, right? Follow your goals, your dreams. Spirit is lighting the way, showing you the way forward, all right? So pay attention to signs, symbols, and synchronicities for sure, repeating numbers. Um, you know, things like finding coins on the ground in weird places, your dreams uh, especially, and of course, people, 
very, very important message to pay attention to the people that are around you. All right. What is crowning you? Okay, we've got the Knight of Coins. So again, normally the Knight of Coins in the upright is an energy of success, perseverance, taking steps towards your achievements, towards your goals, an end game in mind, but taking your time, persevering and making a, how do I want to say, leaving no stone unturned, reading all the fine print, making sure all the ducks are in a row, okay, because this Knight of Coins in the upright never fails. Um, when we have it in reverse, it feels like there, again, may be something that's been overlooked. Uh, you might be rushing headlong into something a little too fast. Normally, the Knight of Coins is one of taking a lot of time. Slowest moving night in the entire tarot, right? But in your situation here, again, we go from one extreme to the other. So there's either something that you're rushing headlong into a little bit too fast and you're leaving something missing, something's missing, something's out. Um, you know, some sort of strategy is missing, the fine prints not read, uh, glossing over some details, right, in a rush to get to the finish line, a sense of urgency, but a little bit um, not quite reckless um, because it doesn't feel like it's intentionally reckless. Um, it's just uh, a little bit, a little, um, yeah, a little bit of an energy of impatience. Now, I do also have to say that there may be people around you that, you know, again, people that you may need to pay attention to. The hermit can represent like a wise old sage, someone who you might go to for some advice. They may have some deep wisdom for you, okay? This can be someone from the past. It doesn't have to be though. It can be someone new that you meet. It could be someone that you already know, but they have a lot of wisdom and guidance that can help you um, see the light, uh, show you the way. Um, they may just have some wise words that gets you on track. We do have an emperor energy that's coming out here. I'm feeling more that this is the energy that you step into rather than someone around you. But there is a little bit of a residual here that there may be somebody who is like a business mastermind that you might look up to. This could actually be the same person and they may have uh, some advice or some wisdom to put you on track, put you back on, um, back on your path. The Knight of Coins, you may actually, you may be dealing with somebody right now because that's right in your conscious thought who you are either thinking about or who is with you at the moment who may give bad advice, bad financial advice. They may be a little bit reckless with money and it could even be you to be honest, okay? But um, pay attention to this person because if this is somebody who is giving you financial advice, the emperor can also give you financial advice. But this person, this knight of coins in reverse here, if this is someone you're already dealing with, okay, they may just be giving you some really bad advice, um, some reckless kind of energy uh, sometimes, right? And again, um, you know, that could be you, all right, um, you know, charging recklessly ahead without paying attention to the details, but this could also represent somebody that you're dealing with, okay, uh, whether it's someone you work with or somebody new that you meet, um, and they may have a lot of energy, um, but maybe a little bit too much, all right, so again, that magical shapeshifter, pay attention to people with or people around you this week for sure, all right, so just kind of a little side note with that, okay? But it feels as though, you know, with this Knight of Coins, it's not just a reckless energy or anything. It's also one where you just might have something, a business idea, a new business opportunity. You might be looking for a change in jobs, okay? And it's just something where you might not have found the right opportunity yet. You may need to re-strategize in some case there because there is an opportunity here waiting in the wings for you okay and it just could be tied to your state of mind it could also be tied to people that are around you that can either help or hinder your progress okay so just um keep your wits about you all right and uh you know trust your inner guidance system okay wisdom comes with the hermit and wisdom comes with that moose stay grounded in your energy 
all right? And there's nothing wrong with taking a slow methodical approach to something, okay? So that you don't get trapped in something that you don't wanna be trapped in, all right? Take a moment, take a time out to think about things, okay? Because that's exactly what the emperor does, this Aries energy. And this is one of uh, leadership, strategy, devising a plan. Uh, it's one of ultimate success though, and it's also one with a very good foundation. So really, if you, um, if you want success, work on your foundation, all right? And make sure that you've got all of your ducks in a row, okay, to ensure success, to ensure uh, achievements, all right? Achievement of your goals, your wishes, your dreams, and don't be afraid to move a little bit slow to sit in the seat of your personal power and understand that you are in charge. Ultimately, you are in charge of your situation. You are in charge of your uh, of your path towards success. This Ace of Wands, this is, you know, a very lucky energy, a very fortunate energy, but you need to know what to do with it. All right. So don't be afraid to take a step back. Don't be afraid to ask for guidance or assistance. All right. Especially if you're entering into something a little bit unknown or that you don't have a lot of experience with, right? Especially if you're looking at opening your own business, it is always advisable to take your time, all right? And to ask people that have been there, done that. The emperor is quite often, um, you know, a not 100% an entrepreneurial energy because, it, you know, it's a little bit of an older energy, but if there's someone that can get a business off the ground and um, make, a, make a good go of it, it would be the emperor. And with this coming with this eight of ace of wands and the knight of coins, it very well could be you stepping into some sort of entrepreneurial role. All right, this can also be you trying to achieve, okay, a higher level of position in your workplace or something, right? Um, whether it is a managerial position or like a project leader or something like that. Okay, once you get your ducks in a row and you kind of get your energy back in check, okay, kind of bring yourself back down to the ground there, okay, you could certainly be um, you stepping into that, uh, that leadership um, role, right, project manager, supervisor, manager, all those kind of things, right, big money sometimes comes out with that emperor, okay, but also entrepreneurial, okay, but I'm feeling more that this is coming back down to earth, staying grounded, using your internal wisdom, that moose energy as well, all right, to um, figure out a strategy, devise a plan that will not fail, overlook anything that you may be overlooking, um, take a step back, get a different kind of perspective, and, you know, revise your plan, revise your situation so that you can achieve the success that you're wanting to achieve. All right, because that emperor certainly does not fail. So, you know, we want to turn this either lack of energy or too much energy. We want to ground this back into reality a little bit and try and revive your circumstances here, right? This nine of wands, get you back on track, get you back moving forward. All right, so uh, I'm going to leave that there. Oopsies. But I'm going to close out your reading with a couple of messages from your guides. And let's see what they have to say. Last messages, please, for Capricorn. What else do we need to know for the week ahead? Thank you. We have an, uh, have an attitude of gratitude, and we also have learned from your mistakes. So an attitude of gratitude. Um, this is really one, if you're working on any manifestation, and the Ace of Wands, believe me, is mani is a manifestation energy, right? But sometimes when we get what we're hoping for, we don't always know what to do with it, okay? So first of all, be thankful for everything you have and everything that's coming in, all right? This, this attitude of gratitude. If you're asking someone for guidance, right? Be very grateful that they're around you and that they can give you that. So it's just always important to have that attitude of gratitude but most importantly we have learned from your mistakes and the nine of wands right being a heavier energy um, when we have this it's like yes you've been through some ups and downs some challenges but there's always an opportunity to learn so while you're taking a little bit of a breather a little bit of a time out here um, reviving your energy 
um, you know, again, the Six of Cups comes into play as well, right? A little bit of nostalgia, looking back on something, all right? That is an opportunity to learn from something, even if you've made a mistake, even if you've failed in some area, even if you've, you know, feel like you might have squandered an opportunity or something, okay? Um, there's always an opportunity to learn. Not everybody is successful the first time out. Sometimes we get something off the ground, it fails, and we're like, well, crap, what did I do wrong? And if we go back to the drawing board, then we can figure out where we went wrong, get back on that horse and try again, right? So um, there's always an opportunity to learn no matter what your situation is. And that's where this hermit energy comes in, this emperor. Believe me, that emperor energy does not, uh, it does not come into power and success by accident and definitely not on the first try out. All right, um, someone who has been through ups and downs and, you know, learned a lot and put all of their lessons to good good use. So when you learn from your mistakes and when you're willing to take a step back, re-strategize, um, you know, get yourself on solid ground and be a little more practical, that's when you end up in that emperor energy, right? So that's when you really step into that powerful energy that's there. Still feel a lot of passion, a lot of fire, all right, and still the energy to keep moving forward, but a little more grounded, and a little more stable. So I'm going to leave that there for you, Capricorn, okay? But I really hope there was something in here that resonated with you, whether it was a little bit or the whole thing, gave you some wisdom, inspiration, or guidance. Um, if so, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. I hope you have a wonderful day and an even more fabulous week. And uh, pay attention to people. All right. And um, I thank you so much for watching. So I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.